All right, this is the final lesson of our origami, beginning origami lessons. And it's going to come to its climax. It's zenith through the lily. I love the lily. The lily is, is such a beautiful piece of origami. I love how intricate it is and how creative it is. And it's just, it's just my favorite. And I'll, I'll tell you, uh, you know, I don't know, this is probably dumb. I don't know if I should say this, but um, it's, it's always kind of fun if you, if you ever wanted to like impress a girl on a date or something like that. And you're a guy, goodness, if you made him a little flower out of paper like this, I, I mean, they, they were generally pretty impressed. And the downside of it is, you know, while you're you kind of look like you're ignoring your date while you're sitting there fiddling around with a piece of paper making them a flower. Like, you know, ignore them for 10 minutes while you make them something that's supposedly going to impress them. But, yeah, so up to you. It's it's a fun piece. <laughs> Regardless, however you want it, whatever you want to use it for, the flower is a neat piece of origami. It's one of my all-time favorites. So, let's learn how to make this flower. The lily. I'm going to do this one with a blue piece of paper. A lot of them are kind of an orange color, but in origami world, you can have it be however you want. So the base that we use for the lily is just opposite of the crane. The crane base uses the square base, and this lily is going to use the triangle base. Okay, so here we go. To start with the triangle base, we need to create a square. Flip it over, colored side down, and there we go. Match up those corners really nice. And this is another one where the more time you spend on the folds and the more time you spend on assuring the accuracy and the, and the evenness of the folds, the better your flower is going to look. All right, so I folded it in half once fold it in half again until we have this next square. All right. Now we're going to op open this up into a triangle. Let's get your finger in there, open it up, squish it down, make sure this line is, you see that right there? You want to make sure that line comes down right on top of it. You don't want to over too much one way or the other, or your triangle is not going to look very good. Okay, there we go. Next, flip it over and let's do the other side. Here we go. Open that up, squish that down. Make sure it's right in the center, and our triangle should look pretty darn good. Oh, that didn't look very good. There we go. Triangle base. Together on the top, and four things on the bottom. Four, one, two, three, four. Okay. All right, let's make our, what, what comes next? Oh yeah. Okay, the next step is going to be, we're going to take this edge here, one of these flaps, and we're gonna take that edge and fold it into this center line. Here we go. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side there. Flip it over and let's do the same thing over here. All right. Now those were just folds to help us out with the next part so we can unfold that. We're back to our square base, or our triangle base. Now what we're going to do is take one of them hold it upright, and just like we've done a lot of times, is 
open this up. I'll get that open there. Get your finger in there, open it up all the way to the back. And just squish that down. Now, if you did that right, this line right here should match right up with that line. Okay? Now let's leave that down like that and lift this flap up here so that there's still two flaps left over. Due to the fact that we had already made those folds, this folds nicely right into place. All right? Now let's get these other two flaps. I'm just going to kind of fold that over right there to get it out of the way. Lift up this piece, and here we go. All right, we've got one piece left. Let's do the same thing here. I'm going to fold that, lift this up. Let's get that open there. Squish it down. All right. Hopefully that didn't go. That wasn't too fast for you. But when when you're done, it should look something like this, where you have a, you know, a single flap on both sides and kind of this accordion. You have four tips at the top here. Four tips. Two open and two closed. All right. All right, so that's what it looks. And on the bottom, it's completely closed. Now, here's another tricky part, but oh, so cool. We're going to do a one little pre-fold to give us a guideline. So I'm going to bring this tip up to that tip and just do a little fold, a pre-fold. Get that pretty close there. And because the paper is kind of on the thicker side here, I like to fold it both directions. Give me a nice, good, even crease on both sides there. Get your fingernail in there if you want. All right, so we have a line right there. Now, watch this carefully. You know, stretch your fingers out again. Take a deep breath. Here we go. All right, this tip is going to come down to here, and the sides are going to fold in. Here we go, watch. That's where your finger needs to get to get those to fold out. All right. Now it's kind of tricky, I recognize, but I'm going to do this four times because there's four petals, and you'll get to see it each time. All right. Let's flip it over to the other side. Here we go again. Ready? That's coming down. Kind of work with it with your finger. This part right here is the part that's going to fold in. See that there? That's what's folding in on both sides. And just work with the paper to get it to go into the right place. Come on, paper. There we go. That looks nice. I like that. Okay. Oh, hold it right here where you can see it. Here we go. Now, let's get these other two sides down. So all I'm going to do, open that. Open that. Now it looks just like it did before. And we have... <clears throat> One more thing to fold, well, two more things to fold down here. Now this, this is a little bit difficult, okay? I, I recognize it takes a while to get these folds down. But you can do it. I mean, I, I have full confidence in you. I, I had to show my little 10-year-old girl about 
three or four times how to do this and then she just took off and and could do folds like this it's not that you can get it so don't don't tell yourself that you can't do this because you can do it I've seen people do it and I've seen people tell themselves that they can't do it and then they can't and they just give up and they never experience the joy of creating something beautiful like this so don't tell yourself that you can't do it just tell yourself that you can if you tell yourself that you can your brain listens and it figures out a way to do it so I always tell my kids if you say, brains listen when you say something and when you when you tell your when you say you can't do something the brain listens and doesn't try but when you say that you can do it your brain listens and figures out a way so there we go fold this bottom up to the top we're gonna do this on all four sides okay just fold it up right there you know it's a natural folding point right there you don't need to fold it in any weird spot just the part where it hinges this is the petal, these are the petals of the leaf that we're folding up. Okay, now let's, we got to get these two inside leaves, so we got to do just what we did a minute ago. Get those two inside parts there, fold them out. These two are now on the inside. What happened to my leaf there? Looks a little funny. All right, now let's do this. Let's fold these ones up. One. And two. All right, we are so close. We are about one step, two steps away from having a beautiful lily flower. Okay, we have our four petals up here. You can already see it taking shape. And these are the flower parts in there. But we got to do one more thing to hold it together before we do that. This base is a little bit too wide. We want it to look nice and thin like a lily, so we have to fold it in. So take one of the flaps here, okay, and we're going to take that edge and fold it into the center, just like so, okay? Let's do that other side. There's four sides, so there's going to be eight folds that we're doing. So that every fold, every side looks just like that. Just flip it over and do the other side. Remember, make sure that you only have, I see a lot of people grab two pieces, grab it, trying to fold that one over too. That's not what you want to do. Just make sure that it's just one of the flaps there. All right, halfway done with those. Oh, see, and I just made that mistake. I folded two in. That's what you don't want to do. Just one flap there. Okay, now we're, we, we keep doing this. We have to get all four sides and fold it on a flat surface, so we have to keep turning it inside out like this. Okay, see that? All right, now let's get these last four flaps folded in. One, two, turn it over, three, four. And we should have something that looks like this. All right, we're so close to finishing here. All right, it's time for the flower to bloom, and we're going to open its petals for its glorious debut. Here we go. All right, fold this flap down and you can kind of feel where it's going to stop folding. That's where you fold it to. Turn it around. Let's fold this one. Okay, and once again we've got to get these two down and to fold them down we've got to turn it, kind of fold it the opposite way. See what I'm doing there? Now let's fold these two down exactly the same as we did the other two petals. Now here we go. Let's open up our flower. Okay. 
there we go, there's our flower. Now you notice this one here, the petals are kind of, it looks more like a flower. Uh, you can leave it like this. It's kind of stiff and unattractive in my mind. And I like to take a pen or a pencil and I go like this, tuck that underneath and roll it in just like that. Oops. And give it a nice little curl like that. Now, it has some nice, pretty little curves to it. So there it is, your iris, not the iris, the lily. This is my favorite flower and the last lesson of our origami beginning, beginning origami lesson.